Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to Dover International Speedway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John Theodore, live recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. I want to thank you all very much for tuning in. We're going to be in the number 27, 1987 Chevrolet Monte Carlo, sponsored by a Red Circle. More information at redcircle.org. Um, they're a non-profit organization focused on community development in North St. Louis County through a racial equity lens. Um, ran here yesterday. Had the right strategy, I think. Um, you know, as I worked out to run the whole race without pitting. And we got no cautions. But I blew a right rear tire with 13 laps to go. So I did not execute my strategy correctly. Firefighter, how you doing? Been a while, man. Good to see you. Um, so, we are... Green flag, green flag. Gonna try this again. Wanting to get a race in early, and then I'm gonna just do this one, and then I'm gonna go off stream for some road to pro practice and see open practice or racing and stuff so I haven't been stream I don't stream stuff that I consider to be practice which is why I haven't been streaming my co open races that are really being used as practice for road to pro decent lap there but not good enough for pole or second place All right. Now we know that if we're saving, um, we're going to be just letting a lot of folks go. But we also know that the guys who really do just run pretty aggressively will not be able to make it on tires the full distance. I'm going to 16 to 1 steering ratio, doing everything I can to try to minimize tire chatter. Resub for your nine-month anniversary? Uh, it'll probably pop up later. I don't know what what's going on with the um, the Twitch sub logic, you know. But you know, with the sharing the anniversaries and not, sometimes it shares them right when people click. Sometimes there's a delay on it. But thank you so much for the nine months, firefighter. Really appreciate it. Good to have you back. Um, hopefully, I can get a win for you today. We're going to have to work for it. We got 26 cars in the field here. Looks like that second place qualifying effort's going to hold up. Numbers one through four are in the top four spot, spots, so we got that going for us there. We're going to go big open steering ratio for the race to try to save some tire. I need to do, next time I do one of these, the, the testing practice videos for this series, I need to try to do a head-to-head -head comparison of a decent length run, trying to be as consistent as possible once I've kind of got my run down and really see if with me driving with similar inputs, if there's a real difference in tire where between 12 to 1 and 16 to 1. Um, I know that there can be, but I don't know. It's, it's just, it's so down to personal preference and setup and, and what your rig is and things like that, that, yeah. Anyway. Good luck, everyone. Of fuel to finish the race. All right, here we go. Okay. I pledge. 
to be a good sport, whether I win or lose to other people online or real people, my words have real impact. It's set a positive right example with my behavior to speak up against discrimination, hate speech, harassment, and abuse to show integrity by honoring the rules of my opponents and my teammates to stop, listen, and reassess from told them words or actions are harmful and to respect others, even if their sincere yeah, opinions are different from my own. Exclamation mark GLHF in my Twitch channel chat. Link in the description below this video if you'd like to take the pledge yourself and be part or of making online gaming a better, more pleasant place That's for everyone involved. Sorry, I was in the middle of the pledge. Yes, sir, I am streaming right now. John, what are you streaming on? Twitch. It's the, the, the Twitch channel. <laughs> yeah, ten forty. I'll consider subscribing. You have two additional ten four. Appreciate that. For this right. Good luck, everyone, and have a good run. <sighs> so yeah, we're gonna be. Very backed down early in this race. We're gonna let guys buy and great, great day to go racing. we're not doing uh, any wheel input right now. Like you're gonna be on the outside, but you we're gonna make sure that we don't do anything yeah, with the tires. Hopefully Aggie will settle down here and uh, chill with us for the race. Good luck, everyone. 90 laps at the Monster Mile. I don't think we're going to get this one green the whole way. This is a single split race. I'm sure we'll get a caution. Much different strength of field than we had yesterday. Face cars off. Be ready. Green's in the air. We're rolling. Inside, inside. Still there. Clear. Inside. Clear. Inside, inside. Still inside. Still there. Clear, clear, clear. We're looking for just no tire squeal out of these tires at all. The whole race, we just want to be smooth. Inside. Still inside. The whole time. Still inside. Clear, clear, clear. Inside, inside. Clear low. Inside, inside. Still inside. We're backing all the way up. More con even more conservative start than we did yesterday. And we've given up a lot of time on the initial start here. Still there. These laps inside. are too slow. As we set out, we're going to have to have a pace that's better than this, and we've probably given up more time than we want. Uncle Sean, how you doing? The idea is to, you know, try to get through the first half of the race with as little wear as possible. And then, you know, hopefully have something to wear. If we need to pour it on a little bit more at the end of the race, we'll have that. Still there. Still inside. Clear low if you need 
It's going to be an unconventional race. Or at least it will feel like an unconventional race early on. We're already eight and a half seconds back of the lead. Those lap times will come back to us a little bit. It did go green all the way through. I did blow my, my right rear with 13 laps to go, so I was too hard on my tires last night. We're trying to smooth that out a little bit better today. Hey, hey, Matthew, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. And Steely Gaming, thanks for the follow. Try to join last night for some reason when you click, click the channel link, it wouldn't play. I don't know what's up with that. I'm sorry. That's, that's unfortunate and disappointing. Twitch technical difficulties cost them a views. I don't like to hear that. Glad you're here today, though, firefighter. Think I racing needs to make the tires softer to encourage more green flag pit stops. I don't know about that. <laughs> they wear pretty quickly in this car. And most of the other cars, you run out of fuel way before you run out of tire. Most of the time. Although at Dover, I guess Dover's always pretty abrasive on the tires. I think what they need to do is add another 60 laps to the race length here so that making it the whole distance without pitting is not an option. I just think that they need to go back. That that one season that they did with these, where they had the race lengths at about 50% longer or 30% 30 to 40% longer than they are currently, was I think a real sweet spot. Those races were a lot of fun. They had great length to them. Um, things really played out in an interesting way. So they go back to that I would love that uh, you know 120 laps at Dover rather than 90 put it outside of the range of the fuel window um, so that we would have to pit and then it would just you know take this out of the equation you'd still have to be careful with your tires to make them last 60 laps and do a one stop weird thing it was only my channel um, the only thing that I can think of with that is that I stream in 1080p and sometimes Twitch will offer up multiple resolutions, whereas other times it'll only be offering the 1080p version of the stream. So if that was the case, if you're watching on, say, a mobile device that displays only in 720p or some of them resolution that doesn't or it doesn't display 1080, then that can happen. So that could have been it. it. It could be that you were on a device that for whatever reason does not have a 1080p display or is not capable of displaying in 1080p. Dustin Mamberkett with the foul. How you doing, my man? Interesting. You know, iPhone displays, I think, actually, 
I could be wrong on this. It might not actually be true 1080p. They might it might be like a 960p or something like that, like a slightly different resolution. I don't know. I'm If it was only my channel, that's usually the reason is that when they don't offer multiple resolutions, it'll be displaying in a resolution that you know that is specific enough that the device you're watching on it can't display that resolution. That's the best guess I have for why it would do that. Yeah, it's working now, but you know, now it's probably uh, got the multiple resolutions available. Very, very odd though, and unfortunate. You missed an entertaining race last night. Inside. Go inside. Inside's clear. Yeah, and I think 2400 by 1080 is technically not 1080p. It's a different resolution from 1080p. I don't know. That should still be 1080p. 1080p is 1920 by 1080. So 2400 by 1080 is technically not the same resolution. It's actually higher. I don't know. We are in an area that is not my area of expertise, as is obvious by me saying I don't know <laughs> multiple times. Lots of incidents, but none of them actually wrecks that bring out cautions. If there's a little settings gear when you tap the video, if there's a little settings gear down there, it'll it should tell you what you're viewing it in currently, and if there are multiple display options available. I'm back here with the hooligans. I'm surrounded by sub-1500 I-rating drivers right now. Some of them are driving as you'd expect for sub-1500, and some of them are doing pretty well. Okay, 28131. That's that's too slow. I need to pick up the pace from that. Outside. Still out there. Still out there. Clear high. I don't think this is going to go green the whole way. I think we'll end up with a caution. I just don't see some of these guys having the uh, the, the the stamina built up yet with their racecraft to do 90 laps without caution. I could be wrong, though. I'm still planning for it to go green the whole way until something happens that takes that away from me. It's very weird to be running around in, you know, 18th place for such a significant portion of the race. Oh, just saving tires. I'm running way off the pace to... Slow cars in front of you. Stay up top, man. 
That might be our caution. That's still not a caution. 18, you can have your line back. Amazing that that like that whole deal happened down on the apron. So still no caution. I thought for sure that was going to be a yellow right there, but somehow with all that going on, everyone kept it straight. I think what that was is that guy probably had a blown his tire and he was trying to get to pit road and just didn't indicate or signal his intentions properly to those of us behind him, so Clear. caused that issue. Big part of this is that my center roll speed through the corners, as you can see, is a good bit slower than those around me. We are uh, 30 laps in here. That looks like a blown tire. That just goes to show you like if, what the big difference is. If you're not careful with your tires, you can run them literally to the point where the tread's gone and they are flat in 30 laps. Or if you're gentle with them and treat them with care and respect, <laughs> you can run 90 laps without ever having to change them. That 21 car getting all out of shape. That could uh, looks like it's not a tire, but that will... Oh, boy. That was, I, I'm almost certain. You're not pitting on lap 32 unless you have a meatball. I wrecked into pit yesterday. The thing is, is that you don't get any indication that the tires are shot until they blow. Like, you're, you're, you can run laps that are every bit as fast as what you're running on lap 10 with the tires at like 90% as you can on lap 80 with the tires at 5%. They go from absolute blistering pace, same as everyone else, to side. cooked, to, to, to gone instantly and without warning. The only warning you get is if you have your ch spotter chattiness set to the high level, you will get a warning about your tires when they are at the 50% mark. That was probably a right front being gone. Again, very easy to do here. It's a very abrasive surface and it is very easy to uh, destroy your tires. I hope that doesn't mean that I'm already halfway through this set. I don't think that that's the halfway warning for the right rear, but now I'm nervous. I think I've been so easy, I don't think there's any way. Like, And I'm once again, I'm committed to this strategy, so we're just going with it, regardless of what happens at this point. Inside. Fresh tires go on through. Clear. 
The other thing that's really important is if you're gonna, if you do have a tire let go, you really want it to be that right front first and not the right rear. The right front, your car will get tight and push, but it's drivable still. The right rear, you'll just be spinning out. Nike Nazi, how you doing? Yeah, we're trying it again. <laughs> um, I don't know if they should. I, I don't know what an accurate model for radial tires would be. Hey, pretty, I'm hitting. It's been so hitting. long since they've run radial, or, or sorry, bias ply tires. It's been so long since they've run bias ply tires at tracks this big in NASCAR. I don't actually know what the accurate way to model that would be. I don't know. I don't know if this is accurate or not. If it, if I don't, I'm. I'd have to look at a timesheet. In the gym watching me pull off the strat 10-4. I hope I'm pulling it off this time. I've been a lot slower in the early part of the run than I was yesterday, I think. Um, I've almost given up a lap in the first half of the run, so that's actually making me worry that maybe I've given up a little bit too much. I don't think I've gotten the 50% warning yet. Yesterday I got it right at halfway, and that was not good enough. Six looks like he's got a flat tire. Once we make it to halfway, the race will really begin. Big picture here today, buddy. Big picture. That's... I don't know if that's the warning or not either. I think that might be just an acknowledgement that I'm in the top ten. Inside. Come on, Earl. Get him by there. Clear him. Clear. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea where I am right now in terms of tires. I don't think it is. It specifically usually references either, you know, taking care of your tires, right front, right rear. That's the thing is that with the with the chattiness on a high level, I'm getting a lot of other call-outs that I'm not used to getting. All right, here's halfway. Yeah, we're up to ninth. That's how many guys have uh, are going to probably end up being on a two-stop strategy based on when they were blowing tires and having to pit. Now, we should see all of the guys who are legitimately leader, doing leader. a one-stop strategy, including the leader right now, just going right in at halfway. Two more going into the pit road with a they're just going down on the apron on the back straight there so yeah everyone who made it to halfway almost immediately has peeled off now Yeah, those are, I think, routine green flag pit stops. Now we're in the top five. So that was a top five call out. I still haven't heard the 50% tires warning, I don't think. Gonna let Jake go on the inside here. Clear 
We've given up so much time. We're absolutely committed to this strategy now. Hook, you want to pass me low? There's one going into the pits. Very tricky pit road to get on to. Good job, man. Don't change your line. They're going to move. Looking good. I'm trying. It's not that I'm trying something. I, I'm trying what I practiced. I, like, it, 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 again, I should have been able to execute it yesterday, I felt like. But I, cle you know, clearly did it wrong. Um, so I didn't execute it correctly. But yeah, like, this is what I practiced, so. Should work. I know it's possible. The guy who won the race yesterday did it and did it correctly. I've had other people message me that they used the strategy that they learned from my video. The good thing now, though, is, you know, like if a caution comes out now, we're at least back up on um, track position. Up. Oh, 12 just missed pit road. That's not good for him. The bottom. Clear the bottom. So, you know, like if a caution comes out now, it's really fine for us because we cycle back up in terms of track position and then we can run it without having to worry about saving tires for the rest of the race. Still don't think I've heard the 50% warning, which means that either it was one of those early warnings and we're in terrible shape and we'll be blowing a tire at around lap 70 or eight, you know, lap 70, 75, somewhere in there, or we're in great shape and we're going to get the 50% warning in a couple here. We're up to second though. So again, we're in excellent shape as long as this works. We're in horrible shape if it doesn't work. That's it, man. Get up to his bumper. No move. Clear. Oh yeah, we're stuck to the strategy either way. We've only got 8.2 seconds on Chris. So we got to pick up our pace too. That's the thing is that now, you know, I'm just going to assume that I haven't gotten the 50% warning on my tires yet and that I really, really saved them going way too slow. Him, he's gonna let you go. 
And now we're just gonna we're gonna run. We're gonna manage that six second gap and try to run our tires as smooth as we can while maintaining that. And as long as we don't blow something, we're fine. We're 16 and a half off the leader. I think he's going to have to pit. I don't think he'll be able to. I could be wrong. I don't think he'll be. The pace that he's going, I don't think is attainable. Or that he okay. was going. I don't think is attainable while saving enough tire. I could be wrong. Phil McCann, let's go. That's Bake's brother. If anyone could do it, you know. He's got the best coach that he could possibly have for uh, for knowing how to run smooth. And he's really backed it down, too. That last lap was a 27.9. We've got a two second, two and a half second gap, two second gap back to the four. We need to maintain that while working this traffic. I'm going to have to assume that we haven't gotten the warning yet that our tires are actually good and that Outside. we can just kind of almost go full chat at this point. Clear, clear, clear. Outside. Still out there. Still out there. Still outside. Outside clear. Sure Chad Jaws, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. That right there. I think that was it. Take it easy on your tires. That's the 50% warning, I believe. I hope it's not the 25% warning. <laughs> If that's the 50% warning, we're fine. If that's the 25% warning, we're probably in trouble. Gotta make quick work of these guys, Earl. I got them, man. I told them. They're hollering at them. 
That's the 50% warning. We're amazing. Yeah, but it's not always cons I'm, it's not consistent enough to be reliable. That's the only issue that I have with that system is like it's not consistent enough that I can 100% rely on it. But we basically have to take it as gospel now. Yeah, I think that's 50%, which means that we're on it now. From here on out, we're just go. First one was for the fronts being at 50. The second one was for the rears being at 50. We're going to go. We need like a second a lap right now. We're going to unleash this beast for the last bit of this race. Margins 12 and a half seconds now to the leader. This is fixed set. Outside. Still outside. Still there. If these lappers out of the way, Earl. Rajo, clear outside. Only half a second quicker that last lap. It's 11 seconds. Outside. Clear high. Pearl, let's get a little help with these lappers. Step four. Another half second off. That's not gaining as quick as I need to. Ten seconds back with thirteen to go last lap. We got twelve to go right now. And we're nine point one back. Door outside. No, you're coming. Still there, your door. Clear high. I'm amazed that this has gone green the whole way. That's been great. 8.3. We gained 9 tenths that last lap. <laughs> that was a fast corner. And I'd appreciate the inside next corner, please. Nice forward. We got about 10 laps. Outside. Outside. Still there. Thank you, sir. Clear. All right, nine to go. Nine to go in 7.4 seconds. We weren't any faster than him that last lap.
Now it's eight to go. We were a half second quicker. I'm so hey dude, are you a moron? You're a lap down car, and you just wrecked the guy racing for position. Uh oh. I'm That's sorry. not good. I thought you get the position. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go to the top. I don't think I had a formal race where an oval racer never made a dumb mistake. Seven to go. I'm sorry. I don't know. Half what second I say. quicker there again. Six point five. Half Four. second a lap is not good enough. Six to go. We need a second a lap basically now. Outside. And that was six tenths. Lab traffic up here. Still there. You're clear. It's five point eight. We need a second a lap. Or we need him to blow a tire, like now. There's five to go. Yeah, but five laps to go. Outside, that was one point two, it's four point six. Sixteen fitting in. He's down on the low side. I think that's it. I think he's in trouble. Slowing on the bottom. Clear if you need it. Get to him. He's going to let you go. It's three seconds. We had four laps to go that last time. It's down to 2.4. Three to go, it's 1.8. Gotta get through this traffic, girl. Hit forward. Two to go. Two more. Inside. Clear low. Inside. Still inside. Clear. This is the white flag. Last lap of the race. And it's the first one we're leading. <laughs> Goodness me. Did we play that one like right on the margins or what? It's going to be interesting to see what our tires are at at the end of this. Take care of your stuff, my man. I think that's the 25% warning. <sighs> A little redemption from yesterday. Wish I would have gone 16 to 1 yesterday. Mm -hmm. That didn't yeah. seem to matter. <laughs> that was Fantastic fun. Job. A little Fantastic. unconventional. Oh, he did have the, he DQ'd. Yeah, I got the hangout at the end. It's the first time I've ever even. I so he ends up third. That. First time I've ever even stood on this track in this car. Great work, everybody. Thank you for all the effort. Well, everybody, everybody, that was great, a great work. Race. <laughs> yeah, I uh, messed up my first run and they had some pretty bad strategy. But good race, nonetheless. Yeah, it was a great race. Well, I have learned a valuable lesson. All right, I won't, I won't do any burnouts and stuff so we can no, see the no, tires. I'll just do the Polish victory lap. Sometimes you need to take it easy on the tires. Anybody else get the meatball flag for the tires? I got a place. I could barely make it with even pitting. Yeah, same. No meatballs today. <laughs> It's so weird, like, I was expecting the 50% warning, and it never came, and I got the warning, and then two hours later, I got the meatball. 
Do you have your uh, spouter chattiness set to high or medium? Probably not set to high. Yeah, without it being on high, you don't get the 50% warning consistently, unfortunately. I'm not Polish. Uh, I do this in honor of Alan Kowicki, who was Polish-American, who originated it. So it's called the Polish Victory Lap in his honor because that was what he called it. Mr. Sweet, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hope you all had fun watching that. I had fun driving it. Good to get a little redemption. I've been seeing everyone else winning with my strategy. So, if you so with the spotter, and the I, this is the iRacing racing spotter. Unless you have the chattiness set too high, you will not consistently receive the warning about your tires when they are at fifty percent. Family's name on your mom's side is Lewandowski. Right on. Theodore is shortened from Theodoropoulos which is on my uh, dad's side. It was shortened when my uh, great-grandfather uh, came over. All right, so that we can try to get as accurate wear percentages as possible. We're not going to torch the rears here like we normally would. We're just going to pull around, not do a big showy celebration. And uh, we'll just park it right here so that we can try to at least get a somewhat Boys, accurate look at what Pick the tires were at the end there. I do have Greek ancestry on my uh, father's side. I'm half Greek. Dang, even with the DQ, it only knocks me down to third. So not a bad, not a bad outcome with that. You watched the... Uh, that NASCAR video recently That's about how Alan Kowicki quote-unquote ruined the 90s. Uh, that, that is a little bit of an incomplete front, telling for the sake of the narrative. They, wow, our right front was only down to like 7 or 8%. Sure. So we were close. But we made it last. Um, yeah, it makes sense. I guess that's not how it works, though. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, We'll get a, a good screenshot here of the, the uh, start position. for. If I was ahead of the leader, I probably would have. I would have got the position, but I didn't. I was too scared. Only two cars on the lead lap with two completely different strategies. That's pretty funny. That's very 1987, though. That's very true to the era. <laughs> um, yeah, played it really close. Not one pit stop. When when. It went green the whole way, no pit stop. That was the strategy that I wanted to do yesterday. I just didn't execute it right. Um, fastest lap was on 84. Let's see. Here's that pass for the lead right there. Although technically it didn't matter because he got the DQ on the final lap and then uh, yeah checker flag at Dover we've gotten a few of those Dover's been good to us let's see if we can get that flag in a little bit better position. Uh, it's just going to be like that. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> yeah, so if you get the meatball, you have a certain number of laps. I don't know if it's four or five. Yeah, they just don't lose pace after, after a certain amount of wear on these cars. Um, but yeah, so... 
when your tire goes to 0%, it goes flat. iRacing issues you a meatball flag. Uh, it's a black flag with a red or orange circle in the middle of it. You have a certain number of laps. I think it's four to acknowledge it. And if you don't acknowledge it in time, then uh, they will uh, disqualify you. Polish victory lap there in honor of, you know, Alan Kowicki, Rusty Wallace, Dale Earnhardt Jr., all of, you know, Rusty and Dale did it in the tradition of Alan Kowicki, so I was always a Rusty fan. I always liked Alan as well. Uh, I was a big Dale Jr. fan too, so, you know, feel like that's a tradition that I can I always felt like that's a tradition that I can get behind it's cool cool way to celebrate a win for sure <sighs> the thing with this is like the, the, what's really weird and again it's ultimately on iRacing for putting the length of this race where it is if the race was 10 laps longer, the one-stop strategy would be king, and none of this would be a thing. If the race was 20 laps shorter, then no-stop strategy would be obvious. You'd have to be careful with it, but you wouldn't have to be as extreme with your tire saving as we do. But because they've made it exactly 90 laps and exactly length of the fuel run, this is just what we have to do. Uh, it's a little goofy. It's weird. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of it being this way necessarily. Obviously, it works if you do it right, but it's not the best kind of racing. And you know, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to have every race be like that every week. Basically, is what I'm saying. Um, 27 I rating gained, 111 points. That will not factor into the championship. So this will be one of our drops. Really stings that we lost that one yesterday. If we got that, late, that was like 270 points yesterday or something like that. So, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. That was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> no, it's not not a bloody pentagram on my head. That's not my style. That is the uh, the logo for a red circle, which again, that's a nonprofit uh, doing community development in North St. Louis County through a racial equity lens. Um, here we go. You can actually see. If we look at the results here real quick, this would be a cool little tutorial here. Um, there's an event log, session events, that you can look at. And you can see um, here we go. DQ scoring ended, not serving black flag on lap 90. And you can see that he got it on lap 85. Where is it? Penalty repairs needed was on lap 85 for Philip Cecil McCandless. He goes, and then it actually scores me as the leader at that point. Interesting. So does it mean that I got the laps led retroactively or no? How do I close this event slug? Okay, close it. There we go. Close. Okay. Uh, yeah, it actually credited me with me, me with leading six laps, even though I only led the final two. Um, yeah. So uh, that's going to do it for the video, but we learned something. I always like learning things. I always like learning how things work. So it looks like it's five laps that you have to serve it after they issue it to you. Um, still a great run by Philip to get as far as he did on those. Um DQ'd right at the end. That was fun. So, uh, yeah, we might do another one at Dover later this week, but then for the next little bit, I'm going to be focused on C Open because we got the win. So, yeah, thank you guys very much. Y'all have a uh, wonderful evening. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please do click that like button, hit subscribe, head over to twitch.tv slash John Theodore Live, click the art to get me out. Thank you very much. Peace out.